How you doing guys? Today we're working on a little bit of a different project. Um, I've always wanted to make a little engine stand so I can start the small engines up. Uh, so like a base tune with carburetors, things of that nature. And I got a couple engine projects coming up on the channel. So I decided today to go to my buddy's place to use his bandsaw in order to cut up the steel. Excuse me. And we'll go back home and we'll weld it all together and hopefully it comes out fairly nice. So if that looks or sounds interesting to you, stick around. So after a bunch of cutting, I got the little pieces of band iron that I want. I'm making this really quick and dirty. I mean, this is not going to be like a super duper perfect project, but basically I got a, I'm going to make a small square, small square. One's going to be on the floor. One's going to be up about a foot. I got these uh, stands that are going to come up one side and I got a couple more legs that are going to go on the front side. So that way I can also take another piece of the bigger band iron, put it on the top and kind of make a dashboard. I'm going to put a kill switch in. I'll put a mount so I can put a throttle on it. And then also I'm going to use an old Clinton tank bracket, gas tank bracket, where I can mount the gas tank uh, right near the motor and then run it right to the carburetor. At least that's my, uh, my thought. So... Right now I'm going to break out the welder, well I'm going to clean the ends of all the pieces of band iron. I'm going to break out the welder in my 90 degree magnets and we'll start stitching this up. Alright, I got these two squares tacked together and I only tacked them together for, well two reasons. One, I'm kind of designing and building at the same time which is not necessarily the most efficient way of building something. But that's just how I'm on. I'm on. My mind is is like a train. It's on one track. I want to get this done as fast and as possible, which is probably not the best course of action. But I'm plowing forward. I just tacked these together, as I said, and the reason for that is these uh, 90 degree magnetic corners. They're great for setting things up, but when you start to weld, the magnetism kind of screws around with the welding. And it kind of like more like blops together than actually weld together. So I just tacked them together in order to just kind of set the 90 degrees, confirm the 90 degrees with my square. And once I get in more of the way I'm envisioning, envisioning this, uh, that's when I'll start to really weld everything together in a more solid manner. Right now I'm going to get my saw horses set up outside. I'm going to use some of my clamps and I'm going to start clamping it together to the way I think it should look or the way my mind has it. So let me get to that point and give you another update. After a little bit of welding, this is what I came up with. Now, it's rough. This is not one of my crown jewels of projects, but it's quick and dirty and it's going to get the job done. The only thing I need to do is I want to just notch this, I want to notch this piece of angle iron out right here and right there. So so it sits flat and I'm gonna bolt this one in. Uh, that way if I wanna run a different size motor or something like that, I can move this around, re-drill it, do whatever I want, maybe do a slot in the center of it. But in general, that's where the motor is gonna be uh, bolted. This is my dash panel. Uh, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tank uh, support off of this Clinton uh, blower cover. I'm just going to undo these rivets and either I'm going to bolt it or I am going to uh, weld it in place. I don't know, somewhere on here. So the gas tank is over in this position or maybe the gas tank is in this position, but I'll have a mounted gas tank right here. I'm going to put a kill switch uh, somewhere in this dash as well as a throttle. So that way I can put an engine on this uh, stand and um, you know, bolt it down, hook up a kill switch, hook up a throttle, 
obviously hook up a gas line, a fuel line, and I can start it up on this little stand and mess around with the carburetor, get it all dialed in for people. So that way, you know, it's not a dyno or anything like that, but it's just an easy way for me to do a base setting on an engine for, uh, you know, if I work on an engine for somebody or for myself. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a two by four and cut it and mount it or bolt it to the bottom. So this thing will actually not sit metal, metal to concrete. It's gonna be wood to concrete. That's also gonna allow uh, a little bit of wood to kind of like stick over and stick over. And what that's gonna help me with is I can weigh this thing down with my piece of railroad track. I can actually pick the railroad track up and throw it in the bottom of this thing, bolt the engine down, hook up all the accessories, and then fire it up, tune the carburetor, uh, make sure everything kind of works. With the throttle, I can go up and down, rev it, it just in a more easier way. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna take the die grinder and cut these corners off because wherever the recoil is that could be that could be a hang up and we don't want that in my arm or the wrist or whatever so quick and dirty the welds came out okay i wasn't going to sit there and make them super pretty it doesn't i mean it really doesn't matter so let me get to making the notches let me go get the piece of wood we'll drill some holes and oh and that in the tank bracket so let me whip that up with the notches completed, I have the back bar in place. Um, this is a Kohler K91 oil pan, which has the same uh, base mount uh, bolt pattern as a Clinton, as well as a Briggs and Stratton. So I'm setting it up for basically just small engines. Plus, you know, you couldn't put a big Magnum on this um, reasonably. This is for really small engines. So I'm going to go ahead and drill my bolt holes for the back bar then I will then uh, get this oil pan and I'm going to get a Clinton oil pan that I have out in the shed mark the holes make sure everything lines up and then I will drill the holes for the mounting bolts for the motor itself once I get that completed I'm going to start working on the dash with the back bar bolted in I bolted it in with 3 8 bolts I'll eventually put nylon nuts on the back side of that I found the center line. It's 12 inches wide, so six inches there, six, in, six inches in the back. Um, measured three and five eighths, and three and five eighths. So it's pretty centered in the, in the on the on the plate or the area here. Um, and then I just took my square right there on the floor and quickly just made sure that it's square to the front edge. Um, now the whole thing is not perfectly square. It's a little cockeyed here and there, but it gets the job done if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead, mark the mark where the oil pan is. Then I'm gonna go get my Clinton pan, make sure it lines up, it should, um, and go ahead and drill those holes. And then the next thing I'll work on is mounting the gas, uh, gas tank straps. The back bar is all drilled. I got the engine holes all drilled. I made sure that they fit both the Kohler and Clinton uh, base plate, which will also correspond to a standard like five horse uh, Briggs and Stratton. I bolted in the pieces of wood. That was a complete nightmare because I really should have thought about that better before I did it, but it's done. And one thing I like about it though, it really makes it solid. I mean, it's, it's solid. It, it definitely feels better with the wood underneath it. So it's that I'm, I'm real happy with that. Next, I'm going to take the uh, gas tank straps off of that Clinton tank, and then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to mount them on the dash panel. There's the fuel tank mounted. It's not like the straps aren't perfectly straight or any of that stuff. I'll, I'll do all that final adjustment later. I'll also get a new petcock uh for the gas tank the fuel the gas tank itself is super squeaky clean inside i just got to find a gas cap i don't have a gas cap for it yet but that is that now i wish the overall size of this was a little bit bigger but i think in general it's the right size for what i need which is space i don't have a lot of space in my garage and my shed so thinking the uh throttle Oops, sorry. I think the throttle is going to go right in here. I'm just going to use a, 
uh, a push, uh, like a pull, pull one from a, one of these here, one of these throttles I got up here. No big deal. I will just get, I'll just drill the hole in it right here for the throttle. I'll have plenty of like cable to get to a motor right next to it. I think I'm going to put the kill switch right, right next to it. So I'll have the kill switch here and I will have the throttle here. So that way I can make adjustments to the carburetor. I kind of wish the throttle was on the other side where this gas tank is, but most of the engines that I'll be working on will have a fuel inlet to the right. If you're looking at the motor, it's going to be to the right. So that's the reason why I justified that to the right. But I guess if you're, I can just lean, kind of grab here and manipulate it or you never know. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking, but that's next. And there it is all put together. Now I have to go in there and refine a few things. Obviously, I have a couple design flaws. <laughs> One of which is where the pull start is uh, versus where the fuel tank is. It's kind of like sort of in your way, you know, like, I mean, you can do it. It's going to work. Um, but, you know, I probably should have thought about that a little bit better. In any event, it is what it is. This is just a test stand so I can test motors on it. I'm going to go ahead and clean everything. I'm going to take all the, I'm going to disassemble the whole thing. I'm going to clean the whole thing, sand it down, and I'll just hit it with some primer. Um, the gas tank, I don't know what exactly what I'm going to do with the gas tank. The gas tank needs to, the exterior needs to be cleaned. The interior is fine. Um, here's the throttle setup that I have. So you can, my throttle is right here. I can go like this. So I can adjust the idle speed. This is going to be the this is going to be the kill switch area. Uh, I'll do the wiring on the kill switch or how I'm going to use that once I get it all cleaned up. But you will see this thing in action in a, upcoming videos. I do have, a, like I said, I do have a couple engine projects coming up. This engine, for one, will get started. Probably be the maiden voyage of my engine stand. But this engine here will be tuned base tuned you know then i have another kohler engine project coming up theoretically as well as uh a briggs and stratton engine so a lot of cool stuff that i've been uh fooling around with i'm looking forward to it this thing i built because i figured i kind of figured i needed it, it i've been kind of messing around with this for a while and I finally just broke down and said, the hell with it. I'm going to build one real quick. Quick and dirty. Nothing pretty. It's not pretty. I know that. But it's going to get the job done on what I need. And if it does, if it bounces around too much, the bottom section there, I could just, again, get, get my railroad track piece right there and just lay it in there. And it, it'll weigh that down more than enough. But overall, real happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the, the little bit of video. I know it was a little choppy, but in general, uh, you got the gist of it. All right, guys, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your interest. Hopefully you found this interesting, and maybe this is something that you'll say to yourself, you know what, maybe I should make one, hopefully. But as always, like, share, and subscribe, please, and you have a very nice day. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I really appreciate your support as always. It's been another great year or coming to the close of another great year here on the channel. And I really do appreciate all your interest. So like, share, subscribe, and as always, have a nice day until the next project.